Guys, if you're new around, you click that subscribe button and turn on channel notifications. It helps me out massively and you'll never miss a video. What is going on guys, Shrubby13 here. Welcome to a brand new squad builder on the channel. If you do enjoy it, remember to leave it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you are new around here. Our push now is to 200 subscribers. So make sure you turn on channel notifications as well so you never miss a video. So today we have a squad builder around flashback, Carlos Tevez. Now this guy is absolutely incredible. If you didn't do him, you missed out on an absolute beast right there. Um, I'm going to have some team of the year uh, attacker, midfielder, defender, squad builders um, throughout the week. So make sure you stay tuned for that if you can afford some of those players. Obviously, I can't afford those players, so I just will be putting them into a squad with a few different types of players that you can use around them, even icons and stuff for you big spenders out there. First of all, we've got Courtois in goal. Now, he's an absolute beast for me now. I used to not like him at all, but for some reason, he's been an absolute beast, and he's in my main squad. And then moving on to the right back, we have got... Carver Howe in form and he is actually pretty damn good. He's got 84 pace with 86 sprint speed. He's got 85 stand tackle, 75 strength, 87 crossing. He's got good agility, balance, reactions and ball control. Just an all round good card. Not the tallest at 5 for 8 but he is high medium so he has the medium defensive work rate. The only thing I'd say is maybe he doesn't have four-star skills or four-star weak foot. One of those is quite nice on your full-backs. Moving on to the centre-backs, we have Raphael Varane. Do I need to say anything about this card? He's got a team of the year come in. Absolutely incredible. 88 stand tackle, 84 strength. Great composure at 82 for a centre-back. Uh, reaction to 83, which is nice. High interceptions, heading actually marking. Slide tackle, jumping. Stamina is pretty decent at 73 as well for a centre-back. Put an anchor on him. He gets all the right boosts in the right area. And he's a medium uh, attacking, high defensive player, six foot three, which is very, very nice. And then next to him, I've gone for Umtiti. Now, Umtiti, six foot as well, medium high as well, so they both like to stay back, which is fantastic. I play Umtiti on the left and uh, Varane on the right, and Titi's left footed, Varane's right footed. Maybe I should swap them over, not too sure, but you can play with that in game. For this, though, you need Varane on the right to get the link to Carvajal. Now he's got. 73 sprint speed, Varane is faster but he's got 89 stand tackle, 84 strength, 90 marking, 89 jumping, the guy's an absolute monster, I cannot say how good this card is, like for how much he cost, he cost me uh, 58k, unbelievable, definitely worth a pick up with an Ankai, gets all the boosts in the right areas, and the left back for the defence, we have Marcelo, 5 star skills, 4 star weak foot which is absolutely lovely, high attacking, low defensive work rate, if you like that, use him. If you don't like that, obviously don't use him. You could use uh, someone else there if you want. But for me, he's phenomenal. Great pace, good standing tackle at 85. Great dribbling, 86 agility, 86 balance, 88 reactions, 92 ball control, 90 dribbling, 86 composure, 90 crossing. The guy's an absolute beast with 91 stamina as well. This defense is definitely one I would expect to see a lot of people rocking in foot champs because it is absolutely solid. Now moving on to the midfielders, guys, we've got three of these. And the first one is Footmas Vass or Wass. Um, I did him because he does look really good with the four-star skill moves, high medium as well. He's got a high attacking work rate, medium defensive, but um, I would play him at CDM because he's got 76 stand tackle, 71 strength, 92 stamina, and he's got decent pace as well. So I'd maybe put a shadow on him and he gets some very nice boosts in the tackling and pace areas. So it'd be good if you have him on stay back while attacking and cover center. Um, he shouldn't do too much bombing forward. If he does, he's got great pace to recover anyway. And he's got great stamina at 92. Now, Rui Costa, one of my favourite icons this year in FIFA 19. He was one of my favourites in FIFA 18 as well. So I had to do it when it came out. Four star, four star, medium, medium. So he does just sort of sit in that middle and get forward when you need him to. And he does do his fair share of defending as well. Um, he's right footed, if that makes a difference to you. But I do play him on the right. He's got 67 games for me, 44 goals, 43 assists. Been an absolute beast, and he's just got incredible stats. I've boosted his uh, shooting and dribbling categories, so he now has uh, 90 finishing, which is unbelievable, because a lot of people say his shooting is actually really, really bad, but I actually think it's quite good. He does miss some silly chances every now and then, but um, to be honest, I can live with that, especially with time finishing, where he doesn't really miss much. 
Acceleration and sprint speed really good at 83 and 88. He's got great passing stats, great dribbling stats. All those are boosted with the sniper chem style. And then strength 84, which is really good, and stamina 88. And he does do a lot of running with his medium, medium work rates. And finally, next up, we have Rijkaard, who you could put at the CDM slot in-game and have Wass um, on the left-hand side. Obviously, he's not going to get the link to Tevez in this team if I was to put him in the um, left centre mid spot. So Rijkaard, four-star weak foot, low medium, so perfect CDM. So I would personally swap them over. I use him as a CDM as well. This is his baby version. He cost me 600k at the time. He's now gone down to about 500k, so he's, he's dropped a lot, so I'd definitely pick him up while you can. Six foot two, um, good pace actually, and he's got great strides, like he's a bit like Vieira. Not the quickest off the mark, but he does get back and make some in maze, amazing interceptions. Like he, Honestly, he's so good. So he gets 82 sprint speed, and he gets a plus 15 on his boost to acceleration as well, so absolutely incredible. Um, and also he gets 5 on his stand tackle which takes him to 91 and he gets 99 or nine, yeah, 99 interceptions which is probably why he's so good at interceptions. He's got good strength anywhere, 88, 75 stamina, 94 composure. His long shots are actually really really good even though they're 74. Scored a few goals for me from long shots. Uh, the one thing I'd say about him is make sure you have a defensive minded sub because if you go to extra time he will not have the legs to carry on. So maybe even look at maybe picking up a better version of him. Maybe his prime, because I think his uh, middle one is a centre-back. Now the front three guys, I've got Coutinho, who I've been using a lot in draft actually lately, and he's absolutely fantastic. Put the right chem style on him, so it boosts his finishing a lot. So maybe a sniper or a dead eye, and he will be absolutely incredible. His dribbling is literally brilliant like his agility at 92 balance at 93 reactions 83 composure 85 dribbling 91 92 ball control absolutely fantastic his passing's really good as well and also he's good at free kicks but his shooting is 77 on this so 77 finishing um boost that and he just becomes a phenomenal player and he's very very quick on the ball and I do believe he is four star, five star. So he has got the five star skills, four star week for high, high work rates, which is probably good because he can cover Marcelo when Marcelo does get forward. Then moving on to the right winger, we have Pavon. I believe this is his uh, league SBC card. Um, a phenomenal card, great dribbling, great pace. Again, finishing, boost that with a dead eye or a sniper. He's got 98 stamina, which is incredible. So. The only thing that's lacking is the composure at 75, but I also believe he is 3-star, three 3-star, three which isn't the greatest, but with time finishing, cutting in onto his right foot, if you are going to swap him in-game with Coutinho, um, then he will be able to cut in onto his right foot, which is obviously his preferred foot, so he's going to have lethal strikes. High medium as well, so he's always going to stay forward. I'd put, I'd put Coutinho on the left, to be honest. Um, oh, sorry, on the right because he has got the four-star weak foot, so you can cut in on that left foot, um, but it's entirely up to you. Pavon, maybe not the best. Maybe if you can get an icon, maybe a George Best or something, if you have got that kind of coins. Um, if not, just someone that can link to Carlos Tevez to give him the chemistry, or even put his uh, put an Argentinian there and just sub him out, um, and then uh, put whoever you want in-game up top. And then Carlos Tevez, three-star weak foot, not the greatest, but that doesn't really matter. Medium low. Four star skills, unbelievable pace, 92 finishing, 93 attacking positioning, 99 shot power, 83 long shots, 88 volleys, 88 penalties, 84 vision, 86 agility, balance 83, reactions 83, ball control 86, dribbling 89, composure 90, his strength at 85 and his stamina at 85. It's just an incredible card. One of the best flashbacks I think we have seen and he's been phenomenal for me. His time finishing, just rocket into the net with that 99 shot power. So guys, that is the squad. Three things, or three or four things I'd say, just to recap. I'd maybe put Rijkaard at CDM and move Wass into the midfield. Um, you can use any La Liga player that you want, to be honest, in that CDM slot. But I like Vass, so um, I've decided to put him there. So I'd swap Rijkaard and him around in-game. I'd maybe, if you're going to use that Pavon card, uh, swap Coutinho and Pavon in-game as well. Um, if you switch to a different formation, obviously that's however you like. But in this formation, I'd switch them over. Or keep him there um, and then just 
get a cheap um, Argentinian that links perfectly to Tevez and then sub him off in game for whoever you like. Make sure you get the right manager and stuff and the league on them so you can uh, get the extra chemistry points if you need them because obviously if you buy players you're going to need those. But guys that for me is a brilliant team. We've got two icons in there. We've got flashback Tevez. We've got great defence. We've got good wingers. Um, so yeah let me know in the comment section down below any teams that you'd like to see. Also leave a like if you want to see more squad builders this week especially for team of the year. And I'll see you guys next time. You sound good.